You know, we did hear that Samsung was launching its foldables earlier this year, but it seems that's not the only thing that's changing as yes, we have details on the possible launch date, but then it seems the Galaxy Unpacked is going international again. We have uh, dates for the new Moto Razr launch, and at least that one is happening closer to our shores than last year. And, and if you have a Google account you want to keep, but don't care much about it, you might want to think again. I'm Jaime Rivera, and listen, if foldables are taking what, like half the spotlight of today's video, that should actually mean something, don't you think? At least finally. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with Motorola since we finally have a date for their upcoming flip phones. After a ton of leaks in recent weeks about the Razer 40 series, the company has just posted a teaser that confirms two devices and also confirms a June 1st launch. What's also pretty interesting is that Motorola hints at a US release for its new Razers with a retweet from this image from the Motorola US account. Keep in mind that the last Razer never made it to the United States for reasons we sadly can't confirm. The brief teaser doesn't mention a location, but it does very clearly show two foldables, which uh, sounds like a great idea. So far, rumors suggest that the flagship model will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, 12 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage, and a huge outer display. Stay tuned as uh, we'll most likely be covering it at least, I don't know, if the event happens in New York, then sure. Now let's move on to Google because uh, we have information about a weird move about to happen. According to a new report, the company is now updating its inactivity policy so that old, unused accounts will be deleted starting later this year. So if you haven't used your account in the last two years, Google will delete that account and its content. In addition to email addresses becoming inaccessible, Gmail messages, calendar events, Drive, Docs, and other workspace files, as well as Google Photos, backups, that also will be removed. Now, at the moment, it is said that they won't delete accounts with uploaded YouTube videos since uh, that could cause clips with historical relevance to disappear for people that are no longer here with us. Google will start deleting accounts in December 2023 and will start with accounts that were created but never used again. Might as well check to those extra accounts as a uh, I mean, you never know. In my case, I'm actually glad because I do have a video for my grandmother who passed away 10 years ago, which is on that account that I'm gonna have to check into. Moving on, let's talk about Apple and uh, some new rumors about the iPhone 16 series. And listen, usually we don't talk about next year's iPhones, but when the information comes from Meng Shi Kuo, it's worth considering. He reported that the iPhone 16 models will have larger display sizes than the current ones, and even the upcoming 14 series, and the reasons why is what makes it interesting. For example, the small iPhone 16 Pro is set to have a 6.3 inch screen up front 5.8 inches, and the Pro Max panel is expected to go for 6.9 inches compared to 6.7. Now, the report also mentions that the reason for this extra space is because Cupertino will try to fit the press lens on both models instead of being exclusive to the Pro Max, which is reportedly the strategy for this year. The upgrade in zoom cameras are rumored to provide five to six times optical zoom, which will be supplied by Kowal E Holdings. Anyway, these changes would not arrive until late 2024 and a lot could change. So we just recommend you take this with information with a grain of salt, but yeah, it's coming from Quo, so we'll see how that evolves. And finally, for the hottest news today, let's talk about Samsung because we have multiple reports claiming the launch dates for the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Z Flip 5. In the last few weeks, we've heard that Sammy plans to launch the new foldables a bit earlier than in previous years. We didn't have an exact date though, at least until now. According to Shozun Media, a South Korean publication, Samsung will unveil both devices on July 26th and sales will start on August 11th. The report also mentions that this year, the company will host Unpacked in Seoul instead of the United States, which is the first time in a long time that it goes international, but I've never seen the event happen in Korea. Also, an industry insider claims that the reason for the early release this year is the sluggish performance of Samsung's semiconductor business. Launching the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Z Flip 5 earlier than usual will create enough of a gap between the foldables and Apple's iPhone 15 lineup, which is expected to go 
go official in September, meaning that the company could sell more of its foldable smartphones. But anyways, in today's question, let us know, I mean, do you have your eyes set on any of Samsung's foldables this year? Because in my case, listen, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 continues to be at least one of the phones that I always carry with me. It's been a great companion, but uh, that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. I'm curious to know if you have one and if not, why? Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me, I don't know, state wishful thinking. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.